Hello again and welcome back to the channel. This is Michael from TofuResources.com. I'm in a bit of a rush today, so I'm just gonna give you a quick integrated writing practice question. In just a moment, I'm gonna show you the article. Then you'll pause the video and read it for three minutes. Then I'll give you the lecture. You'll listen to me and take a few notes. And then you'll give yourself 20 minutes to write your practice essay. As always, stick around until the end of the video and I'll explain how you can get some free feedback on your practice essay from me. Okay, are you ready? Maybe grab a pencil, paper, something to take your notes on. So we're gonna get started in just a second. All right, here is your article today. This one's about living on the moon. I'm gonna get you to pause the video. Give yourself three minutes to read it, take some notes. Remember that you get to look at it again as you're writing your essay. So you don't need super good notes, but yeah, maybe you should take a few just for, just to make valuable use of your, of your time. All right, so I hope you gave yourself three minutes because now I'm going to give you the lecture. Here goes. The concept of a permanent human settlement on the moon has long been regarded as an unattainable aspiration due to various challenges. However, recent advancements in science and technology suggest that the prospect of establishing such a settlement is not as impossible as previously thought. First of all, while the moon's harsh environment poses significant challenges, I think they can be handled. Ongoing research suggests that we can actually use some low-tech solutions to solve these problems. For instance, we can use soil from the moon to create shielding to protect us from solar radiation. That'll make our colonies much safer. Additionally, the establishment of underground habitats could provide natural shielding against meteoroid impacts, further enhancing the safety of lunar residents. Now, it's true that the moon lacks abundant resources, but recent discoveries have revealed the presence of a lot of frozen water in the moon's polar regions. Water is a crucial resource for sustaining life, and its presence on the moon makes a lot of things possible. By extracting and utilizing the water, astronauts can generate oxygen for breathing, produce rocket propellant, and even sustain agriculture without soil through a technique called hydroponics. Finally, the psychological and social challenges of living in isolation on the moon can be mitigated through careful planning. Regular communication with Earth and virtual reality technologies can help combat feelings of isolation and help settlers maintain connections with loved ones back home. Designing habitats with open spaces, natural lighting, and so on would help as well. And we could even recreate Earth-like environments within the settlements to reduce the psychological stress associated with living in a lunar environment. Okay, here's your question. Summarize the points made in the lecture, being sure to explain how they address the problems presented in the reading passage. This is what your screen will look like on test day. As you're writing, you'll be able to look at the reading on the side and you'll have cut, paste, undo, redo buttons at the top of your writing area and you'll have a word count in the corner. Of course, you will not be able to hear the lecture again you will not have a transcript of the lecture either. All right, so just pause the video. Give yourself 20 minutes to write your essay. You know, make sure you save a couple minutes at the end for proofreading. I think that's very, very useful. Aim for about 250, 300 words, something like that in total. Okay, as I said, pause the video. Give yourself 20 minutes to write and come on back to the video after that. All right, so here's my sample essay. As I said, I'm in a bit of a rush, so I'm not gonna to talk too much about it. You can pause the video if you wanna read it carefully. It's a standard essay, just like all the other ones I've done. It starts with an introduction, and then it has one body paragraph for each point and counterpoint. I start by mentioning stuff from the article, 
And then I follow that up by mentioning stuff from the lecture, which challenges the article's point. Standard essay. I'm always making very clear where the details are coming from with stuff like the author notes and the lecture challenges this idea he argues. I'm using transitions like in contrast and um, not only that, that sort, of, that sort of thing. If you have any questions about what I've created, just leave them in a comment down below. Okay, I will leave it at that, but if you want to find out more about what I do, please check out tofelresources.com. That is my website. I have guides for every section of the test, as well as paid tutoring services, essay evaluation stuff, uh, whatever you need. Now, as always, if you want to get some feedback from me about your practice essay, uh, leave it in a comment uh, down below following the video. You know, I try to pop in every couple days and and leave a few comments and estimate the scores. Please be patient. I am getting a lot of these posted nowadays, so it, it can be hard to keep up, but I, I try to do my best. Um, I want to have a little bit of fun with these uh, practice essays. So in addition to leaving your essay, maybe tell me like what country you're coming from. Tell me where you're watching the video from. That'll, that'll make it a lot more fun for me to check essays, and it might encourage me to come back a little bit more frequently. And yeah, like, listen, if you're worried about your privacy, just, um, just make something up. You don't actually have to tell me the truth. Okay, I will leave it at that, but please make sure to subscribe to the channel because I will be uploading more practice questions in the, the days and weeks ahead. All right, take care. I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.